Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make your own healthy fruit salsa and homemade cinnamon sugar chips in 15 minutes. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's Terry here and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. For this healthy fruit salsa, you are going to need some yummy strawberries, apples, you're going to need some kiwis, some tortillas, you're also going to need a cinnamon sugar mixture, and you're going to need a cutting board, knife, and pizza cutter. You're also going to need some sort of cooking spray. I use olive oil cooking spray to spray on top of your chips after you have them cut. And that is for the cinnamon sugar mixture to stick on top of your chips. And then you're just going to cut your tortillas in half. And then you're going to cut them in half again. Then half again. So three times. One, two, and three. They make nice little triangles for your chips. You guys are going to love these. These homemade cinnamon sugar chips are amazing. You will love them. Can't wait for you guys to try them. Then I line my baking sheet with a silicone lining, but you can line them with parchment paper if you have. And if you don't have any, you can just spray the cooking sheet so the chips don't stick. And then you'll just line them up evenly. Make sure they're spread out across the pan. Then after you have everything spread out, you are going to spray your chips. And then you are going to sprinkle this yummy goodness, your cinnamon sugar mixture, all over your chips. And you want to put a decent amount onto your chips. So um, you don't have to go lightly. I would cover them pretty decently. And then these bad boys go into the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. And then voila, just like that, they're done. You'll want to pull them out and let them set to cool. And then after they've had a chance to cool, you can just go ahead and put them into whatever container, plate, whatever you want to have your chips on. And then you are going to get ready to create your delicious fruit salsa. I used strawberries, apples, and kiwis, but you can use whatever fruit that you want or whatever is in season. You just want to make sure that you dice your fruit up really small so the pieces will fit onto your chips very nicely. Cut, 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 cut. Make sure they're all really small and you're going to scoop them up and put them into a bowl. And then a nice tip that I have for you to peel the skin off your kiwi is to use a spoon. It's really easy. It gets the skin right off. So that is a really, really easy tip for you guys to peel the skin right off that kiwi. And then again, you're just going to want to dice it up really small in pieces so it fits nicely onto your chips. Then you'll just scoop those right up and toss it into your bowl as well. And then moving right along to our apples. And our fruit salsa mixture, me and my husband like this, more of a pico de gallo texture. But if you want more of that salsa texture, then you can add some fruit preserves after you have everything into your bowl and just stir that right in there with it. And then you can just put that in the fridge 
and it gives it more of a salsa texture. You can use whatever flavor fruit preserves you want. Strawberry would go nice with this one. So that's just something different if you want to add that to it to make more of a salsa texture. But we like more of the pico de gallo texture, so this works well for us. And you'll just throw it in and mix it all good together. And you have the perfect healthy fruit salsa. So delicious. Can't wait for you guys to try it out. Hope you guys enjoy. As you all can tell, I really enjoy this fruit salsa and I hope you do as well. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you're going to give it a try, make sure to comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Mm, 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 mm. Throw some kiwi on that chip. Throw some kiwi on that chip. <laughs>